Hey there YouTube, Tristan Blaze. Another review by the title. You know what it is. And I got a trim. Nice little couple of gray hairs popping in here. Looking good. Gotta rely on my smoke, man. I lost my cherry. Alright. Christmas. Um got a little gift card to Walmart. Uh, it was like $25 something dollars, so bought me an Arnold Way. Why? You know what? Why not? Wanted to try it. Now, real quick, a few years ago, for those who um, kind of kept up with what was going on, this is a big fucking jug, so I'm going to put that down there real quick. Uh, a few years ago in the fitness industry, um, I think it was around four, it was like three or four years ago in the fitness industry, uh, there was a thing called amino spiking. So you'd get a protein powder, say it gave you 20 grams, okay, per serving. Uh, the company will put in just random amino acids, you know, glutamine, uh, crystalline taurine, arginine, maybe some creatine. That would bump the nitrogen content, so it would read a test, and it would say, oh, there's 26 grams of protein. Now, I know Body Fortress had a uh, class action lawsuit brought up against them in California, I believe it was. I don't know of any other um, states where a lawsuit was brought up against Body Fortress. I don't know. But a lot of companies have been reformulating ingredients since then for protein powder. You go to Body Fortress, you look at the protein powder they had back then. It was about 26 grams a serving. You look at the protein now, I think it's 20 a serving. I don't see the ingredients being changed at all. Um, I, I, I haven't noticed the ingredients being changed. I don't know, maybe they did change it. I just noticed that the protein content has gone down. Now, in the same situation, you got Arnold Way. If you look at some of the ingredients here, L-glycine, L-taurine, L-glutamine, L-leucine, L-isoleucine, L-valine. These are all amino acids. 22 grams of protein per serving. Now, during the amino spiking craze, uh, Muscle Farm released a statement. I read. Uh, I, I saw a video um, from Tiger Fitness where Mark Lobliner read it. And it was, we do put aminos in it, but we don't count it towards the protein content. So it says 22 grams of protein. I'm going to I'm gonna say, you know what? I don't know. Maybe they lied. Maybe they didn't lie. I mean, shit. Companies have done it before. So, little disclaimer on that one. I got it for free for Christmas. And maybe they're lying about the content of protein. Or maybe they're being honest because they did release a statement stating... We put aminos in, but we don't count them towards the protein content. So, got to put that out there. First thing that I noticed after I opened it, this is, if, you, if you've never tried this protein con, you never tried Arnold protein powder. It's the first thing I noticed. It's a fucking scoop. Th this is this is the scoop, man. Look at this. It's like it's like, it's like a fucking. Douglas MacArthur fucking corn cob pipe, dude. I shall return. Like, no shit. The first thing I thought of when I saw this was fucking Douglas MacArthur leaving the Philippines, World War II, with his corn cob pipe on a sub, going, I shall return. So for, and, and I'm a student of history, so yeah, of course. Alright, you get... This was $22.00. You get 21 servings, so you know you get about a serving per dollar. Okay, not bad. 22 grams for a dollar, not bad. My EAS, I get 14 servings for 10, and I get 20 grams of protein. So, eh, gram per serving is a little different. Two extra grams. In terms of the mix, I've been using this post-workout only. Um, I've noticed it's mixing, it, it mixes just as good as any other 
protein powder I've I've really used. Um, nothing really different. No clumping. No you know weird fucking like separation or shit. You know. So mix is good. Um, now I put other stuff in for my post workout. I put my powdered milk. I put powdered peanut butter, creatine, glutamine. That's my post workout. Taste wise. Every protein powder, it's always chocolate flavored. Every chocolate flavored protein powder is going to taste like chocolate, just a different kind of chocolate. You know, chocolate malt or little chocolate or like a hint of like fucking being dark chocolate or whatever the fuck. To me, this was more or less reminiscent of like a chocolate malt taste. Um, not really, not really bad, you know, just I, not really big in chocolate malt, you know. Kind of like one of those malt ball candies, you know. So, you get about 100, you get 120 calories, one gram of fat total, but only half a gram of saturated, no trans fat. So, okay, not bad. That's not bad, you know. 10% of your cholesterol, eh. uh, 7% of your sodium, 11% of your potassium, eh, okay. Six carbs. Which is a lot less than my EAS soy, where I get a one-to-one -one split. So this is more low. This is more lower carb. Um, half a gram of fiber, you know. Got to move that protein out somehow. So that half a gram really helps, I guess. Um, not even half. A, not not even half a percent of your vitamin A. I don't know why they even listed that. Not even half a percent. Point four zero percent. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. So, you get your 100% whey protein blend. Whey protein concentrate, isolate, hydrolyzed. You know, to be honest, I could give a fuck about hydrolyzed. I could give a fuck about isolate. I could give a fuck about concentrate. It's fucking protein. Protein's fucking protein. In terms of if you were to take yourself fucking clone yourself and then put your clone on cre put your clone on like fucking concentrate and put yourself on hydrolyzed and give yourself a 10 year time frame the gains that the hydrolyzed will make over the concentrate is like 1 or 2% man it's not a, it's a drop in a bucket it's not a massive difference so spare me the bullshit and just give me just regular concentrate or just regular isolate I really don't care Hydrolyzed and isolate is good because they remove the majority of the lactose from it, though. So if you're lactose intolerant or you have a problem with too much lactose, then hydrolyzed or isolate is pretty decent. But I take I normally take soy protein, so that's not a problem anyways. You get cocoa powder, then all the amino acids I listed off. Maltodextrin, which is kind of fucking... To me, I don't like maltodextrin. It's just way too much simple carb. Xanthium gum, guar gum, cellulose gum, natural artificial flavors. They actually put salt in it. The salt is real. The salt is real. Sucralose, flaxseed oil powder, lactase, asulfame potassium. Okay. Not bad. Um... I mean, it's not bad, you know, for the price, man, it's about the same price as your Body Fortress. It's like a $2 difference from just your regular Body Fortress run-of-the-mill stuff. Protein content is basically the same. Uh, servings are pretty much roughly the same. Um, it's a decent off-the-shelf protein powder. It's, it's a decent off-the-shelf protein powder, you know. If it fits in your budget and you don't like soy or you have an allergy to soy or, you know, you just don't want to take soy, it is a suitable alternative to what I recommend. It's not bad. Like I said in my other, like I said in my last video for uh, protein, go, go to the fucking aisle at Walmart, go to your GNC, go to your fucking Rite Aid, go wherever you go to buy supplements. Just, you know, do this and then point and if it's in your budget and you're not allergic to it, it's not going to kill you, it works. 
A lot of people buy it simply because it's Arnold. You know? A lot of people buy it. What I think Arnold really should have done with this, what I think he should have done, is instead of like the Iron Way, Iron Dream, like Iron Pre-Workout, Iron Create, instead of that, he should have like fucking made like one-liners. You know, like, you know, the, the whey protein could have been like do it now and the fucking, you know, Iron Dream could have been like get to the chopper. I think that would have been like the shit, dude. I, I, it, it, like, literally, you just like write down what you take every day. All right, I'm taking two servings of do it now, one serving of it's not a tuma, uh, before bed, uh, two scoops of get to the chopper, like pre-workout. Uh, three servings of your one ugly motherfucker. I, you know what? That would have been fucking awesome. I would have, I, I would have, I would have rather done that. I would have, I, I, that would have been great, dude. And then he could have came out with like a multivitamin and called it Last Action Hero, and it just would have murdered everything. It just would have just fucking killed every other supplement. Nobody would have liked it. They would have been like, fuck it, we're done. Hi, kitty. Hey, Sa Diablo. How you doing? It's uh, number... Cat number four. So, you know, I recommend it for convenience. I mean, it's... I recommend it for convenience. I recommend it if you want to spend the extra... You know, the, the extra money to buy it just from the name Arnold. Um... Yeah, hi. How you doing, buddy? But in terms of would this be the one protein that I would be like, oh, yes, this is the one protein I, I recommend and I take all the time? No. I, I stick with my uh, EAS soy and everything is fine. You know? That's what I do. Sa Diablo. I'm making the video, buddy. I mean, you want to say hi? You want to say hi to the people on YouTube? Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Sa Diablo. You jump down and then stand back up like a human. Just so I pet you. Okay. You're fucking weird. Fucking <laughs> biting me. Okay, so that's it. Arnold Way. It's, it, 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 it passes as a protein source. There you go. It's a protein source, just like, you know, anything else. Just like any other tub of protein powder you got, if it fits in your budget, take it. If not, fuck it, go for something else, you know? For the newer, for, for the next few reviews I'm kind of up in the air with, um... One, I really, really, really have been looking at uh, doing some of the Rich Piana stuff. You know, Kill It, 5150. Uh, I've been looking at some of those. Like, the 5150, I want to actually just try that shit because it's 400 milligrams of caffeine per serving. That's a shit ton of caffeine, dude. And that's that. Now, that's just the caffeine. I want to look at all the other shit that's in there and just probably OD off of that shit. And... I don't know. I want to try it, really. Uh, kill it. I want to try Some of the guys in the gym are like, oh, you know, you want to try this. I looked at the ingredients. I'm like, eh, maybe. I'm going to have to downgrade it because a lot of the shit's proprietary blend, though. But I want to try it see how it feels. I uh, want to try Kali Muscles Hyphy Mud. Spoiler, I'm automatically going to downgrade that shit because, one, he doesn't even, he doesn't even list how much caffeine is in it. That's like, that's like your number, that's like your selling point. You know, it's like, dude, we got ass loads of caffeine in this shit. It doesn't even list that off, so. Probably going to downgrade it from that. Um, like I said, I want to do it. Uh, I got to juggle some finances. My furnace came in, you know, a few days after Christmas. So I got to celebrate uh, the new year, at least, with a working furnace and having heat, which is good. So, I will see you later. I got another soy protein powder that I use um, right now as well for my smoothies. Yeah, hi, kitty. Yeah, I know. You want me to pet you. You want me to love you. 
but I'm a little busy. So, uh, I'm going to review that first though, before I get to, if I get to purchasing the stuff from Rich Pion or Kali Muscle. I'm going to start looking at that stuff. Uh, there's a bunch, I got like a bunch of other stuff, you know, I got magic decks, I got some other stuff I want to try. Some like insane, and no, it's not Rich Piano's arm workout, but some like insane like all day arm workout I want to try as well. Uh, that's going to be like a really long video because I'll record like, because like, if you go through my playlist, you will literally see I did a resistance band workout of like, like, like five, like I think it was like five or six hours. It was like every hour on the hour, every 20 minutes and every 40 minutes past the hour, it was, you had to do a certain block of exercises and I just fucking rocked that one um, I think it was like a March a few years ago in March I believe I did that shit and I recorded the entire thing I recorded all of that it's like an hour long video it is and my son was uh, my son wasn't going to school at the time so he showed up with like this little pink teacup in the middle of my set and says dad take a drink so I had to take a drink but that's what I got planned recently. Well, that's what I got planned for the future. A couple new supplement reviews. And then just anything else that kind of just pops up on the radar. Pops up, say, at a store. Oh, you know, let me try this and give it my review. But that's what I got planned. More deck techs. Um, maybe... Maybe get a better computer start my gaming again. Because I got, I got, I got, I got a shitty-ass fucking laptop, which... It's not really good for gaming or anything or motion capture. Or screenshotting, okay. But like video capture, it sucks. So maybe do some of that. And of course, you know, for X Hamster, definitely some more videos planned for that. So I will see you with more reviews, hopefully soon. More deck techs, hopefully soon. And possibly, I pray to God, more fucking videos of me training I'm getting close to doing 405 for more than one I got 395 deadlift up today for uh, three reps and uh, the gym redid their floor I wonder why but got a brand new floor to deadlift on at least so that video is going to be released about a week I think before this review is going to be released so have fun and Subscribe.